Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back to Star Wars Rebellion. Um, I think I may have an idea as to how I'm going to finish this game, uh, which is actually a little bit of a tricky part because it, I, it would have been nice and easy if... Um, they hadn't destroyed the construction yards here. R2 has a message from one of our field personnel. That is very nice. So, R2 indicates that a manufacturing message has been received. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, Uvena build uh, that. I'm going to have. Zyqueen, which might actually be closer. It is, in fact, closer. So actually, I'll have Zyqueen build those two, and I'll cancel Uvena and have them instead build the laser cannon. Um, that way I don't have to worry about the Empire taking this planet back. Um, and they're going to have their own troops heading over to hold it. Um, I think I have an idea of how I plan to finish this game. And that is going to be, I'm going to just fly around to all of the known Imperial uh, planets and I'm going to oh, I probably should speed this up because this is going to take like 28 days for the shield generators to show up. Um, is I'm gonna fly around to each planet, raise it to the ground. Um, by the way, I'm going to, uh, so right now all of these people are heading back to, uh, Corstris. There is a message from one of our units indicating it has arrived at its destination. I'm going to move them on board the fleet, because that is probably where it's going to be the safest. Um, and it, yeah, it looks like I'm constructing a whole bunch of Celestin regiments, so I'm going to move nine of them onto the fleet. And then I'm going to move all of these people onto the fleet. So this is essentially going to be my big old prison charter bus. Uh, construction yard, idle, and Ovena. So that's good. Um, then, once... Then I'm going to go to each of these planets, bombard their military so there is no military force defending it, then send the mercenary group to espionage, um, because since there will be no military, there will be no defense. So it'll be safe for them to go down and poke around. If there are people in there, they will be abducted, and then I will move on to the next planet, and so forth. That is my current plan, and in theory... Has a message indicating that one of our fighter squadrons has replaced its losses, um, it now at full strength. In theory, I should be able to, uh, finish the game today. R2 has a message from one of our field personnel. There is a message from one of our units indicating it has arrived... Although, I suppose the question I have is, like, how? what is it like, uh... So, yeah, the Zyqueen um, construction yard is done. So the construction is done. And it's going to take about 28 more days uh, for that shield generator to show up. So I'm going to keep that tab open so I am more aware. Oh. So I realize I probably should pay more attention because 
uh, to informants because that's how I discovered where Palpatine was because there were informants on Amorous. Okay. And I also still should be paying attention to saboteurs. Especially since uh, there still are fleets uh, traveling around the galaxy. And it's going to take a l Damn it. Oh dear, R2 has a message from okay. one of our planetary systems indicating that the Empire is blockading the planet. And also there is a bonus to uh to just uh doing espionage on different planets. R2 indicates that a manufacturing message has been received. And that is the fact that Actually, let's see what are these, uh, their combat, that person's combat rating. This guy's just named Paige. His combat rating is low, so I'm going to move him, uh, off this ship to Varm. He's got a good combat rating. She's got a good combat rating. Uh, Lando can be the... Admiral, he can be the general, commander, good. So the bonus is like uh, if I do uh, scan a planet or espionage a planet, there's always the chance uh, that they'll discover information about uh, the other planets. Also, maybe I should use this as an opportunity to reclaim Han Solo. Uh, because I'm sure it would be nice to have him back. Okay, so this planet has no... ...has no defenses. So I will send these guys for espionage, and let's see how long that takes. And it's been four days... Five... Six... They're taking their time investigating this, uh, empty planet. Okay. Oh, they're back. Okay. So there's nothing going on there, but we can see there are missions on Pildiller and Thrakia. So, let's head over to Pildiller first. All right, so now we are on. A message has been received indicating our fleet has initiated a blockade of an enemy system. Pill Diller. Oh, hold on. I got ahead of myself. I can see they have tr dark troopers. So let us save our game. Because I st I'm still not really fully confident in the idea that you can just bombard planetary systems military and they won't mind. So let's see if that affects their morale. Oh, and they switched sides. So I guess let's keep going. That did not quite work as well as I wanted it to because I wanted the ability to examine the planet afterwards. But I don't think that's going to work very well for these few planets. Okay. So Thrakia has some troops. Oh, Kirik joined me. I might uh, be able to completely kick the Empire out of the uh, this sector. Uh... Which would be interesting, actually. Let us reintroduce... I'm gonna have uh, Zyqueen build a bunch of uh, construction sites back on Amorous. That way I could use it to hopefully hold uh, the rest of the sector in the future. Because I kind of gave up on that sector. Our goal has been achieved. And, let's see, so she left, or she's done there, because she's awesome. Understood. 
Actually, she probably won't have anything to do in Rafa once the fleet arrives in um, Seligus. Because the fleet will arrive, it'll blockade the planet. So let's get Lamra, Lemra back. Has a message from one of our field personnel. And then next time, then once Lemra is back in our palms, yeah, they seem to be targeting this kind of planet way out in the middle of nowhere, which is fine. Um, then I'm gonna go for Dalmar and get Han back, Han and Chewie, uh, because they're kind of being held prisoner at the moment, and nobody wants that to like. Oh, is that how you're going to finish the game? With uh, Han and Chewie being held prisoner by the Empire? So actually, because um, I do plan on taking out this planet, uh, let us find... There we go. Let's move these guys over to Tangreen. And... These two over to Tangreen as well. That's the uh, military camp planet. And who's on Halloween? Let's move them over as... these two over as well. Ooh. And actually, let's move uh, Niles Farrier so we can officially make uh, the fleet the prison bus. A natural di disaster on Svivren? Uh, great. Unfortunately, that means I'm going to have to scrap these refineries so that I could build proper defenses, since they can't... They don't have any, much, any energy anymore. That is unfortunate. And now that the fleet has arrived in Lemra... I'm going to bombard it, assault it, and they were nice enough to leave their Celestin regiments behind. Um, let us move... Three more there. And it's going to take how long to move to Balfron? 71 days. Okay, that's going to take a while. So it is day 1900. And we've still got probably a good 60-something days before the fleet arrives in the Dalamar sector. And I think we're going to try to treat this... So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of treat this as a speed round. Uh, we're going to get Han, Han and Chewie back. Um, and then we're going to s just wander around those two sectors. And actually, Amaris has already received one of its... How can I assist you? Uh, ...construction yards, which means I can start building. Oh. Systems, indicating that a prisoner has escaped. Mendo has escaped. Uh, which means that I really should uh, focus on getting the capture of Vader done as quickly as possible. Thusly to keep... Uh, has a message from one of our field personnel. R2 indicates uh, the, to keep the risk of uh, the Emperor escaping down as low as possible. Now, in theory, uh, keeping the Emperor on the fleet also increases the amount of people who are on the fleet with him. R2 indicates that a manufacturing message has been received. Which I'll have to check to see how many, many troops I still have on here. So I've got 12 troops, which means I'm going to want to resupply. Um, R2 has a message from one of our field personnel before I start landing any troops on any planets. 
And it is day 1965, eventually. Okay, uh, tomorrow is the day in which the fleet arrives in Dalamar. And they've got an executive uh, ship, some other things. I've got bunches of stuff. All their stuff is destroyed. I lost one A-Wing. So let's first move... Let's move, like... All of these guys onto the fleet and see if that fits. That's too many. <laughs> Unfortunately, that fleet is filled to capacity. I'm afraid your order cannot be carried out. So I can do 12, 37, that's 5, 15, 25. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Two, three. Or I could just move them in smaller groups. And that will probably be easier to do since I won't have to worry about the math. Alright. That way, there is a much stronger uh, contingent of people guarding uh, the Emperor. Also, I could use this opportunity to uh, save my game and planetary bombard. Did I lose a... Uh, I lost an escort carrier, which also meant I lost some X-Wings. Oh, my. There is a dark trooper that's still fully operational. Impressive. Um, so while that is happening... Let's, uh... Send this bunch to sabotage that one Tark Trooper? R2 indicates that a manufacturing message has been received. Oh no! <laughs> one of our is in. Multiple of them were captured in the process. Oh, they're terrible at their jobs. Okay, so on 1975, I'm gonna assault the planet. Ah, Chewie Chewy escaped. Conveniently to the fleet uh, aboard the, around the planet. So Chewie escaped, but he left Han behind. Alright. from Captain Solo. Oh my. Wow. How that one... Actually, hold on. What am I doing? Bombard. Dark Trooper Regiment lives. Bombard again. There we go. What, what what was I even doing, really? I don't even know. And actually... Let's, uh... Hold on. Ooh, they're expected to be there by day 2002. I wasn't planning to still be here by that time. Oh, well. Um, so I'm let's... Not sure I know how to do that. 
Now that the planet is free of anybody, let's espionage the planet and see if they learn things about other planets. Because that does happen. Uh, from time to time. R2 has a message from one of our field personnel. Then I will assault the planet, save Han. Um, R2 indicates that a manufacturing message has been received. In addition, they got information about Bupfash. Where on earth is Bupfash? Well, it's not on Earth. It would be here. Huh. They're sending a rescue operation. But that's not going to be there until day 2034. I'm not going to be there at that time either. Huh. And they've got a named individual here. So I will send my team down to abduct him. Also, I just noticed that uh, my um, the likability of all my popular support in the rest of the planets has been affected by my bombardment. Which is unfortunate, but now all of these guys have escaped. Balfron is near uprising. Um, let's move only the people who are capable of combat onto the ship. Which is everybody. Now, the question I have is, should I wait for the Imperial fleet to show up? Because when they do, I'll just defeat them. But then that means I won't be able to really do anything in that meantime. Um, so... At the very least, let's build some defenses. Actually, let us wait for that, uh, fleet. Because I'm gonna have to stick around to build defenses. Ooh, also I probably should have uh, Mon Mothma worry about diplomacy because she's better at, at it than anybody else in this area. Um, and then who here is... Ooh, is Wedge and Teal's good at combat? He is. So they can go on to my prison bus... So I am going to, I think I'm going to stick around Balfron long enough for the Imperial fleet to show up. And then after they show up, then I will move on. But I think at that point I should have the uh, new shield generators and cannon uh, installed on Balfron. Where's Corson? Oh, dear. R2 has a message from one of our... Oh, yeah, it's down there. Indicating that the Empire is blockading the planet. Ah! Here's uh, b the first battle. And it went well, as to be expected. Ah, and because that battle was won, um, it basically... Uh, convinced everybody who had like those little bit of suspicions uh like now i didn't even need to do any of those diplomatic missions because everybody's like eh you know i we don't like the fact that they bombarded the planet but um they they won that space battle and space battles are pretty awesome but we're gonna hold out here until day 2002 because that's when the bigger fleet is expected to be here then I'm going to move over to Sorka and Ward Tandel, and then, then th those are going to be focused more on actually planetary assault, whereas Farfin and Sluis is just going to be um, about 
looking for Vader. Because I'm probably I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna do some bombarding. Um, there is a message from Princess Leia. Hmm. That's a much smaller fleet than I expected. Oh well. So let us save the game. It is day 2002. And it'll take 11 days to go to Sarka. Alright, so Sarka has a military presence. It's going to take a couple bombardments to get rid of it. But now that they're gone, I can... Espionage, and also, let's replace some of the troops. I had uh, used to take over that other uh, planet. While I'm waiting for the espionage. R2 indicates that a manufacturing message has been received. R2 says one of our so they got Sarka and Ordo. On Sarka, we have Mendo. So we're going... Like, see how many Imperial Espionage droids and commandos they've got going on? That has clearly been the focus uh, of the Empire uh, throughout this game. And that's why, like, every day there's another... Um, there's news of another... Uh, attempt at sabotage, another attempt at reconnaissance. Ooh, and they're already trying to replace their, uh, lost troops. Mendo has been recaptured. We don't need their advanced facility, but we do need them to have some means of defending themselves. Okay, so it's going to take 10 days for the construction of the shield generators for Sarka, and 10 days for it to travel over there. Once that's done, I'll hit War Tyndall, take that over. Once that's done, I'm going to roam the other two sectors. Uh, espionage, bombard. Or should I say bombard, then espionage. And hopefully, in that process, reveal the presence of where Vader is. All right, so it'll take four days to go to War Tandel, which is not that long at all. Two has a message from one of our field personnel. The Empire has bested us. And they've arrived. Two indicates that a manufacturing I wonder how they, if there's like a randomizer for how they pick their names. So all of them are defeated. I lost one X-Wing. They have no defenses. Hmm. And let us espionage the planet. There is a message from Master Luke. Blast. Alas, that uh, planetary bombardment has affected the entire sector, uh, which is unfortunate. But this essentially means that once I go around Farfin and Sluis, like most of them already don't care about the um, the rebellion, so it'll be. Uh, so it'll be easier to just bombard all of them. Ooh. Oh, and that restored faith. We've got to do better. 
All it took is just one space battle because everybody's like, you know, space battles are dope. We didn't like you before, but we saw you won that space battle. There is a message from the president. The Empire has bested us. Ooh, another space battle. And no casualties on my side. Although it looks like a couple X-Wings got damaged. Yeah, we showed them how much we're likable we are in our diplomacy. There is a message from Princess Leia. We need to keep this up. Oh dear, R2 has a message from one of our planetary systems. This espionage is taking a little while. Like it's it's strange how uh, the liquidator is are they called the liquidator because they're liquidating their own assets? Snub Snub has been killed. How did that happen? That's what I get for keeping everybody aboard the same fleet and having it participate in combat. Okay, so I know that Ward Tandell is filled with death commandos. And they also got f information on Orto, which has a couple of names. All right. Sorry, Snub Snub. You didn't make it to see the end of the rebellion and the start of the New Republic. Okay, so he died in the espionage mission. Which is a little disappointing. Because I wonder who actually, like... Did, are, were those Death Commandos able of killing... Uh... Like, I thought only the, the troops defending the, the, uh, the planet had the ability to stop uh, espionage missions, but clearly, I'm wrong. And I'm not even going to be here when they show up. I probably won't. There is a message from maintenance that needs your immediate attention. For some reason, they're after Duros's uh, construction yards. R2 says there's a message coming in from a planetary system. So what's going on on Sedri? Nothing important. Although that means. Hmm. R2 indicates that a manufacturing message has been received. You know, I might swing through that area and see if they've taken over these planets. Huh. So they actually arrived earlier than I expected. And we're immediately stopped. But since the shields have arrived, I'm going to move on and uh, see what's going on on these outer planets before heading over to uh, the Farfin sector, because it is closer. And it would be pretty easy for me to just kind of scout out these few planets, because there is the off chance that, uh, they might be out there attempting diplomacy. R2 has a message from one of our field personnel. R2 indicates that a manufacturing message has been received. Alright, so the year is 2100. It's been a while since I've saved my game. 
I now control three of the core systems completely. R2 has a message from one of our field personnel. Actually, let's build... Who are the ones who do the espionage? The spies. They're the ones who do the espionage. Let's build, like, some of them. And then have uh, them sent over with the fleet. Because they are not really counted as troops, I believe. So, yeah, let's build, like, 30 of them. And see how many I can send over to the fleet. That way I don't have to uh, put my other troops at uh, risk. Says one of our agents is reporting in. R2 has a message from one of our field personnel. Oh, they have an interdictor cruiser there for some reason. Indicates that a manufacturing message has been received. So let us um let's see how many of these um both in spies I can move and how long it takes. And because selecting units is very odd in this game, I'm going to take that. Okay, and because, yeah, the uh, they count as, like, player characters, so to speak. But let's destroy that. Military regiment there. That was fast. They must have people in that area. No, not an X-Wing unit. Like, if they were able to... Yeah. R2 indicates that a manufacturing message has been received. Yeah, they must have people in this area. So, I'm going to risk it. And I'm going to send this collection of people. Except for Saren Virgilo. to espionage. R2 indicates that a manufacturing message has been received. R2 has a message from one of our field personnel. And then once those both and spies are finished building in its entirety, then I'm going to move them all over to the Sedri fleet. But let's first see how this, uh... Yeah, Sir and Virgilio has been healed. Uh, but let's see how this espionage mission goes. And see what kind of results it gets. Oh. R2 indicates that a manufacturing message has been received. All right. One of our agents is reporting in. And they've got a whole bunch of death commandos. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to assault the planet to get rid of the death commandos. Scrap all of their industry. And then... I'm going to leave the planet. I'm afraid R2 has some bad news about support for the Alliance. Which is a little bit of an odd strategy, I would admit. But it essentially means I could destroy a planet without having to uh, defend it. So we're going to see how that goes. R2 has 
message from one of our field personnel. R2 indicates that a manufacturing message has been received. So the Bothan spies have arrived. So I'm going to start moving these guys around like planets that uh, uh, can be won by popular support. Because if it's a planet that can be won by popular support, uh, that increases the odds that Vader is there doing something. But that might be uh, a poor assumption on my part. That, and if this next planet is not held by the Emperor, the Empire, um, I'm just going to send them directly to Farfin. And then I'm going to capture a planet, destroy its industry. Oh. Okay, so I'll destroy their industry. Send my collection of spies to espionage. Patiently wait for the espionage to uh, either succeed or fail. Hopefully succeed. But at the very least, if some of these Bothan spies die... Alright, so what is going on, Praetis? Nothing. Nothing is going on. That's the pro... That's the... My problem with the informants is their information is always a bit on the inconsistent side. Um, like, I can still consider... I would consider it very lucky that I found out about the Emperor because of informants. Uh, Victory Destroyer 10. Uh, they ran out of names, apparently. Uh, the, the other Victory Destroyers got to be named things. Uh, Victory Destroyer 8. But these Victory Destroyers, they're like, uh, we're just pumping these guys out. Who's Clev, and where was he? Oh, he was, uh... What was he doing there? Why? Like, he has no combat ability, he has no espionage ability. Were they sending him off to do an espionage mission? And they've got tons of Imperial. So let us assault the planet. Destroy their industry. Because if it belongs to them and they don't have it, that become that knocks out their potential uh Maintenance. Not to mention the resources. Also, this is giving me tons of resources. I hadn't really considered that thought. Because there was an Empire presence there, I'm going to scout out this uh, sector. And then... Real quick-like. And then head over to the... Uh, there is a message neighboring the sector. Uh, luckily, there shouldn't be anything else going on on any of these planets, or... Like, I don't really have anybody doing any missions. I, like, I just have this fleet to move around. So actually, if there's nothing on Nenton, I'll try Fef, and then directly... Send them directly to, uh, Firo. And there is nothing, so let's try Fef. And you know, re trying to rebuild this industry is going to be especially problematic because they're going to have to, like, send over facilities from, like, other sectors. And that's going to take a lot longer of a time. And I think that would be an interesting strategy if you're playing this game multiplayer, not necessarily just single player. 
Like the idea that you're trying to attack planets not to secure them, but to uh, prevent the enemy from using them. And by just like I prevented them from using the resources while also preventing them from using the units they had already moved to those planets. Also, I forgot to... Um, by the way, let's confirm move to Firo. It'll take 11 days. So that's not going to be too long. What's going on in Chandrilla? That is disappointing. A natural disaster caused both of its shield generators and its gun placement to be destroyed. So the day is 2200. I'm heading off to finally enact that beginning part of my so-called genius plan to uh, find Darth Vader. Where is Sarka? Oh, it's there. But I've already defended it, so. R2 has a message from one of our field personnel. Ooh. And what have they got on Firo? They've got nothing. So. The only di the, the only danger in this plan of mine is that it's going to put a lot of my uh, ships at risk due to all the planetary bombardment it's going to require. So let's see how well this actually goes. Oh my. That did not actually succeed. The Emperor has escaped. We're doomed. Okay, that did not go well at all. Let's try that again. Huh. Huh. Okay. So that's not going to work. So... Let us try something. Let's send this group to destroy just the uh, gun emplacement. And let's see how that goes. Like, all they need to do is just destroy the LNR series. R2 says one of our agents is reporting in. Sabotage mission has been foiled. Let us try it again. Because... and as long as nobody dies... One of our is reporting in. Sabotage mission foiled again. Like, in theory, eventually this su should succeed. In theory, I just needed them to blow up one building. And then I could just repeatedly... Uh, blast the planet until the uh, shields are destroyed. In theory. Sabotage mission again destroyed. I think my plan is falling apart. So let us send this group this group And this group. In theory, one of them will succeed. One of them succeeded. Fantastic. Now, because there's no gun battery, I can just planetary bombard their facilities. Over. And over. And over. Again, until I get the 
results I'm looking for. Okay, that's also not working. So, let's try to uh, sabotage. <laughs> let's try that same tactic to uh, sabotage uh, one of the Gen Core. In theory, as long as one of them succeed. All right. So now that they've succeeded, I wonder if the bombardment will work now. The bombardment has, in fact, worked. And I can go back to my previous attempts at doing stuff by espionage. Okay, this is going to be a lot trickier than I expected. But hopefully we will be able to succeed. R2 has a message from one of our field personnel. Without having this take too long. And I, I guess this kind of leads to um, another, like, that main reason why I've never actually finished this game. It's because it just takes a very long time. So he can go back on the ship. Alright. With any luck... I was hoping to take care of this today, but it looks like this might have to wait for another time. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.